this is going to be a, a small part two or part two of Matthew 24, the beginning of sorrows, and I, the word of God sent me to Acts 2, 17 through 21. And it appears that Matthew 24, the coming of our Lord and the end of the world is a short period of time because in four verses it covers all of Matthew 24. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will shew wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Lord of Lords, when he returns, and all I shall see, and they will know that he is Lord. He is the foundation. He is the Alpha and Omega. I am prophecy. You are prophecy. Anyone that is spreading the good news of the gospel. I have. I know today more than ever that I am two parts. I am the flesh body, the sinful nature of, him, of man, and I am the spirit of truth. For the spirit of truth dwelleth in me. I can feel it because I have goosebumps. When God gave me verse 21, after reading 17 through, through 20, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise God how simple it is. God paid the same wage for the first hour, and then he paid for the last hour of labor. Be written in the Lamb's book of life and call upon the Lord this day and be a new creature. Be set apart. Walk that straight and narrow path to righteousness, having the world below you, being set apart. Very few are going to walk that straight and narrow path because it's straight and narrow. It's hard for a lot of people to go on it. Broad and wide is the path to destruction. Join me this day, and let's continue on spreading the good news of the gospel because the Lord wants us to, because we are to love him with all the love in our heart and to love our brothers and our sisters as we love ourselves. I love you so much. Keep me in your prayers. God be with us this day and every day until that day when we see the Lord, that notable day.